So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Yashavi Dubey for scoring a very good rank of rank number 17 in ANT group for MCH Head and Neck Oncology and yeah, uh, session of so NEET SS 2023. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Great, great to interact with you today and have you in the interview session to yes, share sir. your experiences and your background. The pleasure is all mine, sir. <laughs> so can you tell us the brief background from where you started your career till date? Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I am basically, I've done my MBBS from Government Medical College, Solapur. Like it's a city in Maharashtra. So many of the people from who are non-Maharashtrians won't be knowing it. And I have done my PG, like MSCNT from Government Medical College, Latur, another small town in Maharashtra, which many non-Maharashtrians won't be knowing. So I just passed my PG like in July of 2023, like just now. And so luckily I had two months to prepare. Uh, but my journey for this MCH head neck was basically when I took this PG seat in ENT, uh, it was on my mind that I have to do it. And so after completing my first year, I decided that I have to like uh, start investing time in it. And so I was looking for options like where I can get good material to study and good uh, lectures and all. So the only option I could found, find out online was Speed. So I am using Speed since like uh, January 2022. So that's almost been two years. So, and speed has helped me a lot in my journey, especially uh, Teja sir's video. Like, I, I have no words <laughs> to describe how great they are. Like, everyone from my, like, whoever has got rank in ENT must be saying that sir's video. And the good thing about speed is it's grand test. Like, there are about 12 grand tests of uh, ENT group. Uh, I might have solved it each, like, each grand test at least five times. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess about 110 questions in the main exam were from those grand tests. Like, it's my recollection. Like, and I was able to uh, score correctly around 114 questions. So the equation fits, if speed wasn't there, I don't think I would have been able to get it, uh, make it. And it's all about revision and going through the lectures again and again, going through the notes again and again. And finally, uh, when luck is by your side and everything, everything just falls into place, sir. Like, uh, I, like a person like me, like who's done his UG and TG from like not famous medical colleges. So whenever you used to like attend conferences, uh, like national level conferences or state level. So we used to feel quite uh, worried because we used to see people from big cities, like in Maharashtra, we have Mumbai, Pune and everything. And we used to think like, where do we stand a chance in front of these people? And so like, that was the motivation factor behind uh, that I have to do really well. Today is three made. Class. Yeah, yes, sir. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to actually thank my HODs, like uh, Dr. Girish Thakur sir and Dr. Madhuri Mure, ma'am, also my associate professor, Dr. Vinod Tandakure sir. Like, they gave me the time to, like, to study. They knew that I had interest in head neck and uh, in Latur, we per se don't do head neck that much. So they were like, if you want to do, you, you can carry on. And like, I'm really grateful to them as well. Now, uh, we when that idea of an MCH started for super speciality, I mean, is it before ENT, uh, PG? Uh, or I got, uh, sir, sir, basically, me getting ENT was basically an accident. Like, uh, the state counseling was going on and I didn't look at the notice that I have to opt out if I don't want to take a seat. And unfortunately, I had entered ENT in my counseling downs and I got allotted ENT and I couldn't leave it. So, it was basically an accident that I got ENT. And then when I got ENT, I decided, like, uh, on ENT, like... Uh, uh, my dad works in a hospital, so he was of the opinion that you should like you should always look for options. And op uh, one major option which I got was head neck onco surgery. So I decided that after completing my first year, after completing on my tedious work in rounds and boards, I will invest a good amount of time in my studies. So after like evening time, like uh, I had free time a lot in evening, uh, dividing the call days, and so I decided I'll study in those time. And speed was a good alternative because it had the lectures, it had the notes. Uh, I also like uh, attempted the INISS session of April, which I wasn't successful, uh, which was difficult, obviously, because I was just a resident then. So, yeah, it was, it goes back in the first year when I had decided that I would pursue ENT, sir. Okay. So, how many questions did you attend in this exam? Uh, sir, I attempted all the 150. Like, uh, oh. by giving <laughs> the GTs, I had made a realization that if I really want to stand a chance of getting a seat in MCH, I have to attend all the attempt all the questions because leaving those questions because the competition is stiff there, like uh, between the first ranker and the last person who gets a seat. So, so I had decided that it, it has to be all or none. If I have to go all out or else I'll lose out. So I attempted all the 150 and I got 114 right. Very true. So great. Uh... Full of positive vibes from you, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> the is full so of actually, positive vibes. Uh, so actually, uh, 
life had showed me some hard parts recently as well like i was struggling a lot recently with my family as well so it may it motivated me a lot like uh, you cannot do anything in your comfort zone i realized that you have to come out of your comfort zone uh, you have to be there you have to fight for yourself no one's going to stand for you and if you're fighting hard and if you're trying hard there's nothing in the world which can which can stop you uh, uh, like i have heard this like ms dhoni like he frequently says that you have to work it out you have to like you have to be there till the end i re- actually realized it when i was attempting this exam that i cannot leave it like it is all on me and i have to do it so uh, sitting all day in the library sticking it the hard hard hours i i am i'm over now i guess <laughs> so what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of ent uh, students uh, so my message would be specific, specifically for those students who are doing their ms ent from small towns like there are major towns and you have a lot of exposure there but small town people like your major major medical colleges in india are in small towns and we are we, we people have neglected a lot because we we believe that we we have barely made it here how can we dream of something to achieve something bigger, bigger than this so it would be keep your goals clear what you really want what you really aspire start working for it there is no alternative to hard work you have to get in the hard hours you have to have those failures you have to have those low scores in gt and then gradually you start improving and that improvement is sir, that's addictive i suppose like once you start seeing your improvement in grand test it becomes like i want to really score well the next grand test the next grand test i'll be scoring more so it it becomes a sort of an addiction so i remember like <laughs> i was giving out of i had actually watched a video like because of g20 your video had come that you got 20 days more so you had said that you should at least attempt at least two gts per day so i guess so you might be remembering that so i made it a point i'll give three gts in a day <laughs> <laughs> i i am not giving this i am not giving up and that postponement due to g20 was another like it was a blessing in disguise for me because i got extra 20 days to prepare because my pg exams had ended in july and i it was two months so i got three months so i guess that was a major factor as well that i got an extra time to prepare and all the kind words and from motivation from you lectures from teja sir uh, <laughs> sir can't be described in words the feeling <laughs> Great, wonderful doctor. I am a true fan of speed, sir. I, 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 I know speed is done has helped me a lot. Great, nice to know, and I mean definitely faculty, Teja, everybody looking into your video will be definitely encouraged. Uh, yes, sir. Product. So, uh, like I haven't interacted with Teja sir like personally any time, any on any platform, but through this medium, I would like to say thank you so much, sir. Because of you, I guess uh, without you, it wouldn't have been possible. Your videos, your test ka questions, everything. They were exceptional, sir. Like exam was a cake for departing a few silly mistakes that mm-hmm. I made, and which got me to seventeen. But yeah, thank you so much, sir. Like thank you to you, thank you to Teja, sir. Great, doctor. Once again, we wish you all the best and all the success as a great so medical uh, so MCA oncologist in making. Best wishes. You are going to create a mystery, and thank uh, you so much, sir. Thank you. And you so already much, created, sir. and the process of making it in more yes, successful. Sir. wish you all the best yes, all the i would like to actually take this opportunity to actually motivate the students of my like mbba students of my ug or ug pg college especially gmc latur yes. like i know it's a small place and we don't have that amount of resources but aspire like dream big you are going to achieve it there's nothing stopping like there's no alternative to hard work and if you have your wits if you have your dreams i guess you can make it well said great <laughs> thank you so much sir wonderful doctor wonderful yes sir thank you so much all thank the you. best yeah yeah thank you